शांति वी आर ऑल बाबा स्पेशल चिल्ड्रन बाबा हैज गिवन अस मैनी रिमेम्बरेंसेज ऑन कॉन्फ्लुएंस एट आउट ऑफ विच वन वेरी स्पेशल इज दैट वी आर द वर्स who have tilak on the forehead tilak means this mark which is given in the temples and we are the ones who are seated on the hard throne of baba and we are the ones who have crown on our head these are the special three self respects we have so having tilak means re- having remembrance of soul and not only being soul conscious but what kind of soul i am i am not an ordinary soul baba has reminded me that i am a very pure soul elevated soul great soul one of the selected soul from the world i am the one who is the hero actor worship worthy soul so all these titles which are given to us keeping them in mind or being aware of them most of the times means i am having tilak all the time on my forehead and we are the special children who has the right over the heart throne of baba baba's heart throne is so big if all the souls of the world they want to sit on that they can but there is one condition for that can you tell what is that con- condition purity yes yes so one is purity and second is baba says i like innocent children i like true and honest heart so those who have true and honest heart they have right to sit on baba's heart throne and we are all having crown or service on our head which will give us crown of kingdom in the future and in future we too will have crown of purity so this crown of service it makes us world benefactors we are baba's right hand baba always says i alone do not do anything i transform the world with the help of children and we are like hands of brahma baba brahma baba has millions of hands so whether we are new or old children of baba do you think uh, what do you think whether the old ones are doing the task of world transformation or whosoever we are whether we are one year old child or six months old child we too are the world transformers world transformers what do you think <coughs> hmm? are you all world transformers yes so this task we carry out through service 
and we do three types of service. One is service of the self. The first service start is the service of the self. If I am making effort to make myself complete in all the subjects, knowledge, yoga, imbibing the divine virtues, so these three automatically carry out the world service. The fourth subject, it comes automatically then. But first we need to make ourselves experienced. And in last Murli Baba spoke, we must become the embodiment of experiences in all the subjects. So this is also a kind of service. And every service has its own mark. If I am spending time in making my own efforts, if I am making fast efforts, that too is a service. And second type of service, we do yagya service. Yagya means the sacrificial fire which Baba has created. The Baba's centers, wherever we are, if we are helping in those centers, whether physically or through donating wealth to carry out Baba's task, in any way if we are helping in Baba's yagya, then that too is the part of service. And third type of service we do to other souls by relating knowledge to them. Whatever Baba's message to be given to them. Now, as we have claimed our right from the Father, those souls also have right to get Baba's inheritance. So they must get Baba's message at right time. Now, many times, uh, in latest mulis, Baba says to this, um, make this service fast to give Baba's message to the all souls of the world so that they do not, what should they do not say? And you have not given us message at right time. This is too late now, we cannot make effort. So mes message should reach them at right time. So those whichever are our contact souls, they are in our relations, it's our duty to tell them that it's the time of incarnation of God and He has come and He is giving us our inheritance. If you want to claim your right, you can. But these services are limited services, limited type of services. But when we come to the service through mind, Although mind is subtle, it cannot be seen. All other type of services you can see, you are doing those services. And others also can see that you are doing those services. But the service of mind, it's not visible. If someone is doing service through mind, means someone may feel he or she is just sitting, doing nothing. But maybe the task of service through mind is going on through the thought processes. And <clears throat> the more subtle one thing is, the more powerful it is. When we see the signs in this physical world, the more refined things are coming up, more powerful they are. Now if we see the example of telephone, earlier how were uh, they, how, how was their size? It was very big and it was with cord, you can use it at one place only, you cannot carry that at other place. Then other type of handsets come, uh, they were cordless, uh, but the limited distance you can use them. Then now the more refined technology has come, and very small mobile huh, handsets are in our hands and which can be used in any part of the world with many facilities of communication. In the same way we see the bombs, atom bombs, huh? uh, if when they have made them as hydrogen bomb, neutron bombs, 
their power is increasing. When it is more refined, more subtle, there is more power. So mind is subtle but it's very powerful, means by being at one place we can reach to the souls of the world sitting at the other corner. We can spread vibrations anywhere in the world and in physical world we say it telepathy and Baba says it service or serving through mind. And Baba many times reminds us this would be the last form of service too for Brahmins. At present we can do all type of services but when it will be the time of destruction then no other means will work for us. Hmm. There will be so much upheaval and disturbance that even if we want to do other type of services, we won't be able to, so we can use only our mind. If we have practice right from now. So it should be a long time practice for us. But when we come to the mind, actually we all Baba's children, you know, we, we are doing this service. It's not that we are not doing. But sometimes when we don't see results, we get disheartened. Uh, I'm doing service through mind for these, these souls, but don't see any results. Why is so? Mm, this, this question can come. So why this happens? Because Baba has given us condition how to do it. There is a proper method to do it. So when we use that method, then we can experience success. Right method, success. If it is not right method, then you may find that you are not getting the required results. And method Baba has told us, our thoughts should always be elevated, pure, and filled with good wishes for those souls whom we are serving. It should not be that sometimes I have good wishes and sometimes my feelings change. It is seen, no, if someone is according to my nature, if my sanskar match to them, if my thoughts match to them, if they keep good wishes for me, I am happy with them, then I automatically have good wishes. There is no obstacle in that. But if their behavior is not good with me, if they insult me anytime, if they get, get angry with me, if I get negative feelings from them, my feelings too change. Then I cannot keep good wishes. And it's very difficult for me to give good vibrations. What do you think? So if my feelings keep changing all the time, what Baba says, Baba's directions are, no matter what kind of soul is one, we are the world transformers, they are not the world transformers. So it's my duty, which kind of soul that one is, I have to always keep good feelings and good wishes for them. And then only it will work. Then only you will find the result. Maybe you have to keep patience for some time. Uh, you have to wait for some time. Uh, sometimes in, in one, two, three, four, uh, five sittings you don't, you don't find any result. But definitely it will come. And we all Baba's children have experience of this. So if you really keep your feelings constantly pure, elevated, the service through mind definitely gives us better results than service through our speech and our actions. And many times Baba even say, when you are serving someone through your speech, your that time two feelings should be elevated. 
it will give you double success one type of service only single result but if it is double service going on then it will be more fruitful for you so you can we can always experiment it and this which baba says we have to become the embodiment of experiences so we must uh, experiment uh, this service through mind when we serve other souls but it is seen that we waste our lot of mental energy and where our mental energy goes actually we need to accumulate it the confluence ages to accumulate our mind energy so that we can use it for the service but if we are not attentive and careful we create lot of waste thoughts negative thoughts in influence of situations and people in influence of vices and sometimes we are not even aware of them ki i am creating lot of waste thoughts hours they are spent in waste thoughts no awareness and lot of energy is wasted when we create negative thoughts actually drains multi million times energy one negative thought multi million times mind energy is lost they are like poison this negative thoughts which are based on vices actually they are like poison for us so when waste thoughts come usually they are of past events and it's habit of many they keep brooding over the past what someone has said to me why it was said what was uh, his feeling that time whether it should have been done or not done and so many kind of questions no when baba says when we go into why want uh, how then it's the source of waste thoughts and we need to put full stop it should the, the the break should be very powerful as soon as you come to know you are in waste thoughts and you should not have waste thoughts and negative thoughts what we need to do we need to put a full stop to them but again we find it difficult to put a full stop uh, it requires lot of practice full stop means how can we put full stop when we think whatever is happening in world drama this is confluence age this is the beneficial time it's for benefit even if something is going bad it's not according to my wish if there is some loss even failure but there is benefit in that can there be benefit in adverse situation or in difficult situation what do you say those who know english can answer ha huh? yes yes it's it's our knowledge is the test of our knowledge you know how much depth of knowledge we have if i have depth of knowledge then definitely i will find out some benefit for me in that and there is always there is there are always two sides of coin you know if there is loss in that situation there is definitely benefit is also there but i need to look for it but most of the times so what we see we see the negative side of it we think about loss more we think about you know problem more we do not think much about the solution there is one very good story about this comes in scriptures you know, scriptures in india they you know they are full of stories so i would like to tell you that story <coughs> it's educative story the so same how can uh, a loss brings benefit for us <clears throat> so there was once a very um, intelligent minister to a king and he always keep his minister with him uh, and he used to keep taking his advice on his um, you know like ruling matters <clears throat> <clears throat> so once what happened his finger got chopped off so he showed his finger to his minister see my finger is cut 
So minister, he was an enlightened soul. He said, uh, Maharaj, whatever has happened, this has happened for good. So this king got annoyed. He said, my finger is cut and you are saying whatever has happened, has happened for good. You are not faithful to me. I don't like you. So he um, ordered his soldiers to put him in the jail. So they took him and put him behind the bars. And this king was fond of hunting. So after some time, he went in the forest for hunting. And when he was chasing the victim, he went very deep into the jungle. And his uh, soldiers, they left behind. They could not find him. And when he was in the center of that forest, it was the tribal area. The tribal people uh, in India at that time, sometimes they used to sacrifice human beings on goddesses. Sacrifice of animals is still there. But that time, they used to sacrifice even human beings to please the goddess. So he was caught and taken to the temple. When he came to know that they have caught me to, text, to sacrifice on the goddess, so he told them, uh, I am your king, will you sacrifice me? So they said, oh, king, king means the most elevated in all the subjects. So you are the most elevated, very good sacrifice for the goddess and we will not leave you. <laughs> so when priest, he saw, <laughs> he saw him, uh, he, that his finger is cut, and it was the rule, if any physical organ is damaged, it cannot be a right sacrifice. This goddess will be annoyed. So he said, leave him because his finger is cut. Search for other human being. This goddess will not accept him. He is not the right sacrifice. So he was left. And when he was returning to his kingdom, he remembered the words of minister. Uh, if um, whatever has happened, has happened for good. He thought, oh, it was right. Really, my finger was cut. That's why my life is saved. Otherwise, I would have been sacrificed today. So as soon as he reached to his kingdom, he called his minister. He said, today I can understand your words. You were right. Today my life is saved because of this cut finger. But I put you in the jail. It was not beneficial for you. It was not good for you. He said, Maharaj, it too was beneficial because I always accompany you. And today, because I was in the jail, I was not with you. If I would have been with you, what would have happened? In place of you, I would have been sacrificed because I was the complete human being. So we both are saved. You two and me, we are saved. So this was God's plan to save us. Sometimes we are not aware of God's plan. Baba, why Baba says always whatever is happening in the drama is beneficial because there is some secret behind it. We need to go deep into it. So this is the method to put a full stop to everything. Whatever is happening is happening for good. And in future, sometimes it's in veil. No, immediately we do not come to know what good is going to happen to me. But when the time passes, we really realize whatever was happened was really good. So this is, this is to put full stop to our thoughts and we require this practice right from the present time. And this, this which was Baba always stresses, we need long time practice. Our ruling power and controlling power should be very strong on our mind. And the thoughts we have about others, they reach to them. And sometimes when we uh, get wrong vibrations from others. No, whatever we are thinking, it creates a aura. 
it gives it creates an atmosphere around us many times baba says no our attitudes our thinking it goes in atmosphere and it creates the atmosphere environment so these thoughts when it they reach to others you no know, others can catch those vibration and they come to know what feelings we have towards them and even we can also catch vibration of others and we you know we know whether they are positive to us whether they are negative to us and there is again one story related to this so how our vibration reach to others and they start thinking in the same way we are thinking for them so once a uh, king and minister they were in their kingdom <clears throat> and the king asked minister this question do you know what my subjects think about me so he answered maharaj whatever you think about them they have the same thinking for you he said how can you say this i don't accept he said i can prove this for you he said okay uh, we we are in kingdom so if you find anyone let me know so immediately they saw that one wood cutter he was coming and he had bundle of woods on his head so as soon as this king saw this wood cutter he got annoyed he said this wood cutter he is destroying my forest every day is cutting so much woods from my kingdom forest so call him in the court tomorrow i will punish him this minister he said maharaj i want to know uh, something about you from him so you just be on one side so i would go and ask him so he went to him and asked him uh, he told him that did you hear a news he said what news our king is dead he said king is dead okay uh, our king is so cruel he's he, he doesn't take care of his subjects so if he dies uh, what it matters for me and then he started going so when the king saw you know how this woodcutter was behaving the minister said uh, did you see what he was saying about you so he said this this uh, woodcutter is foolish i don't agree with you i don't believe so he let him go and after some time they saw one old lady with stick she was coming and she was walking with too much difficulty so when king saw her he felt compassionate compassionate towards her and he told his minister tomorrow call her to the court i will give her pension and so that she can live her rest of the life comfortably now he felt really compassionate towards her and said i don't know whether his uh, children uh, her children were taking care of her or not so call him to the court tomorrow then minister said okay maharaj again i want to ask her about you so you be on one side i would go to her and ask and he he shared the same question no do you know that our king is dead so she said what do you say why are you choking uh, such a compassionate kind king uh, why should he die he should not die uh, he should long live don't create such a joke again to me and she started walking and going then this uh, king heard the whole conversation and minister saw him and now he could believe and the feelings he had towards them the same came to him because he was unkind to that woodcutter the same feelings he had for him and he was kind to that lady that old lady compassionate to that old lady and she had the same feelings towards the king and then he said okay uh, really i was choking he is not dead uh, he is there he is with us so that's why baba says keep 
good wishes for all the souls because the vibrations we are sending to them, the same feelings they also get for us and the same vibration they come in return to us. And even if they, are, uh, they don't have good feelings for us, we can transform them through our constant good feelings. So many times, you know, in most of the murlis, Baba stresses on this, ki no matter what kind of a soul it is, you must have good feelings for them. Now, how can we increase our mind power? How can we increase uh, our this uh, mental energy? And answer is very simple, through spiritual knowledge through Baba's Murli, the thoughts we get every day, whatever direction Baba is giving to us, if we churn the ocean of knowledge every day, if we th because those thoughts are powerful thoughts, those thoughts are positive thoughts, those thoughts are elevated thoughts. We do not get powerful and positive thoughts from the world news. Uh, if we think about others, can you get powerful thoughts? If we are indulged in, in the ways thinking, uh, thinking ab uh, about the past or th worrying about the future or thinking about the world and situations, uh, we do not get uh, that energy. It drains our energy, but the thoughts of knowledge, when we churn on them, like when we digest the food, it gives us power. It's the same that digesting the knowledge when we make it belong to ourselves. Churning on it means we make the knowledge belong to us. Then it becomes power and we can use it anytime. We become the embodiment of experience of those points and then those points work. You know, like point of drama. Baba says when you are uh, in difficult situation, then use the point of drama. Every soul has its own part to play and this is a variety drama of variety souls. So many times we are using that point but it's not working. Or when the wise come, Baba says, uh, use the point that I am a soul. I am soul conscious, I am not body conscious, this body is perishable, I am a pure and elevated soul. I am using it but it's not working. Many times we forget to use it. If we are not churning then we forget to use it. But if, even if I I am aware and I am reminded uh, of it, but still it's not working. Why? Because I have not digested it. I have not made it as my own point, not my own experience. So till it becomes your experience, it will not work. So we need to churn knowledge every day. And we must take out time for it. Sometimes Baba says, if you are very busy and you feel that you don't have time to even listen to Murli. Uh, listening Murli is the first step. After listening only you can churn. So sometimes even we don't have time to listen to Murli. Mm. So if we are not listening Murli then, then it's very difficult uh, to increase our uh, mind power because then uh, the mind is automatically drawn to everything happening in the world. There are a lot of attractions of Maya and a pull of Maya and it will take you away. So listening to Muli is must for Brahmins. This is our first code of conduct. And then if I want to do service through mind, I need to churn the knowledge every day. And second thing to improve mind power is concentration. Concentration while remembering Baba. If I want to keep myself in angelic stage, 
if I want to experience seed stage, if I want to experience incorporeal stage, any stage of yoga, whenever I like, as long as I like to maintain it, if I can, then I have good concentration. And if I am thinking, oh, I am an angel, I am an embodiment of light, I have form of light, I am like Baba, but one thought, I am embodiment of light, another thought, some worldly thought, this is not called concentration, some ways thought came, some thought of uh, any person came, this is not called concentration. Concentration gives us success. Even concentration do miracles. And many people in the world, they show miracles with this power. All the scientists, history, you know, when we see you know, how these inventions came up in the world, we are using so many facilities, how they came up with the power of concentration of oh, the scientist. And they could give new things to the world. They went underground. Even they were not, uh, uh, they were not aware of their eating and drinking at that time. They forgot that okay, this is the time of eating, this is the time of meal. Uh, even uh, I heard that one, uh, this uh, Louis Pasteur, who invented pen penicillin, he forget his time of marriage, day of marriage even. So he was reminded that so today is the day of your marriage. He said, I don't have time to marry, postpone it. I cannot come, I am busy in my lab. So they were so concentrated for their work. And uh, we see, you know, sometimes we give example when we teach Raj Yoga to others. Uh, uh, a paper kept in sunlight, it doesn't burn. But when the rays are focused by convex lens and they fall on one point of the paper, and within minutes this paper starts burning. So what happened? It was the same sun, the same rays are coming. But earlier they were not concentrated. But when the rays are concentrated on one point, it could burn. Hmm? So this is the power of concentration. That's why Baba says your yoga should be volcanic uh, yoga. It should be like fire of yoga, which burns your old sanskars, which burns your past karma. Right? It absolves your sins or cut away your sins. We should have that kind of concentration in yoga. Totally focused on Baba. Mine is one Baba, none else. There should be no other thought. If I think for 10 minutes I will be in seed stage, means 10 minutes I am in the seed stage. No other thought at all. This is called concentration. Powerful yoga. If one thought from here, one thought from there, even many thoughts of knowledge, this is not concentration. This is just routine yoga, ordinary stage of yoga. We won't call it powerful stage of yoga. And that doesn't give us the results of service through mind. If I want to get results out of service through mind, then we need to have this type of yoga. And one more story come in the scriptures. Uh, it's the story of Arjuna. Have you heard his name? Arjuna. Five, he was one of the five Pandavas. The five Pandavas' name were uh, eldest was Yudhishthir, then Bhim, Arjun, Nakul, and Sahadev. This Arjun was expert in the art of bow and arrow. So he was very expert in hitting the target. He never missed his target. So once uh, his, their teacher, Guru, 
uh, he was testing them, the all corvus and founders, uh, they were in the school and he asked them to target a bird made up of clay kept on the tree. So first he called Duryodhan. Duryodhan, he was the eldest in Korvas. So he asked him, what are you seeing on this tree? He said, I'm seeing the branches, leaves, and that bird too. He said, you go, you cannot hit the target. And through their answer only he could judge whether uh, this will be able to hit the target or not. And then he called Yudhishthir and asked the same question, what, what are you seeing? He said, I am seeing tree, branches, leaves and uh, the bird too. He said, okay, you also go, you cannot hit the target. And the target was the eye of the bird. They have to hit in the eye of the bird. So then he called Arjuna and asked the same question. What do you see? So he said, I am seeing only the eye of the bird. I cannot see anything else. He said, okay, you shoot. And when he shot, it directly went into the eye of the world. So this was the concentration. So he was seeing because he had to hit the eye, he was seeing only that eye. So yoga means seeing Baba as point of light means I am seeing only that point of light, nothing else. This is the most powerful yoga, which burns our all the old sanskars and it transforms us. And when we give vibrations to other souls in this stage, it really brings success. You know, whatever we like for them, uh, it does the same for them. We hear, I think many years ago, uh, Dadi Chan Ki had a program with the psycholo psychologist Yuri Geller. Has any one of you aware of that program? Few. I think it was almost 15 years ago. It was in London, in Al Albert Hall. And that psychologist, he was expert in concentration power. And he could show miracles, you know, like if he sees the watch, he could stop the watch. And if he saw uh, a key, he could bend that key. And if uh, he saw the seeds on the palm, he germinated those seeds, you know, with just seeing. Otherwise, it takes 24 hours when we put them, soak them in water and, you know, like overnight uh, they swell up and then uh, gradually they uh, sprout. But on his hand, within minutes, he could germinate them. So he showed or he demonstrated that in the whole gathering in that hall. And Dadichi, you know, we all Raj Yogi, Baba's children, we do not show such miracles. Uh, we have power of concentration, but our miracle is different. So Dadi, uh, what Dadi did, she just told them to experience the power of silence. So she gave Raj Yoga commentary and whole hall was having pin drop silence. So all those who were sitting in the hall, they had very powerful experience of silence. And then EEG, EEG, you know, it's electroencephalogram of the brain. It's the reading of the brain waves. So it was taken for both of them. That psychologist too was tested and Dadichi was also tested for that. And it was found that the psychologist, he had alpha waves in his brain which are produced in the relaxed state of mind. And Dadichi's, along with alpha waves, she had delta waves too. Delta waves are only produced in brain when we are in deep sleep. But 
Dadichi had those waves even in the awakened stage. So it was really wonderful for the scientists, those who were doing this experiment. And this psychologist accepted, Dadiji, although I have shown miracle in the public, I know this is not the purpose of my life. Miracle is temporary, you know, it's just it'll give them happiness for some time or it gives me name or money. But the world need peace and the, uh, the power you are giving them, uh, this experience of peace, this will really transform their life and it will be helpful in the transformation of the world. So I appreciate your power. And my power is not useful for the world, but your power is really useful for the world. So when we compare this, you know, even if, uh, there are so many uh, people, they show miracles through their uh, power of concentration. There is one book, Guinness, uh, book of world records. Uh, what is that? Uh, how, how do they get uh, that much success? Uh, they are better than ordinary human beings in showing their arts. How? Because they use their power of mind. But again, uh, it's the same thing. Uh, although they sh uh, do that, but it's not transforming the life of anyone. It's not transforming the world. But the power of Raj Yoga, which Baba has given us, no, it's, it is transforming our lives and as well as the life of others and it will transform the world in the future. So we need to improve our concentration power and for that we need to pay constant attention our, on our mind. What benefits uh, we can give to others? So Baba spoke about this in many murlis. Uh, the benefits are that we can give message to the distant soul while sitting at one place. We can awaken their fortune. We can give them visions. Uh, we can bring hope in them. Uh, we can give them enthusiasm. Mm, we can um, guide them. Uh, or even we can heal them. If they are suffering from some disease or they have some problem, uh, the mental power, even you can, through it, you can heal yourself and you can heal others too. And nowadays, uh, pranic healing and reiki methods, uh, they are used as healing methods in the world. So these methods, they are like uh, through mind power. They work through mind power. So through Raj Yoga too, we can heal ourselves and it has been found in many studies when we do meditation, in scientific studies, that when we do meditation, it changes the physiology of the body. You know, like when we are in negative emotions, which, are, which is called as stress. Stress is what? Stress is of anger, jealousy, hatred, when we have these type of thoughts, means we have stress in our mind. So this stress, it generates certain harmful chemicals in our blood, which produce psychosomatic diseases. And when we are in meditation, in good meditation, that too also transforms our physiology, it generates certain chemicals which are beneficial for our systems. And these chemicals are called endorphins, encephalins, serotonins, and GABA. They reduce our heart rate, reduce our respiratory rate, reduce our blood pressure, our hormones, they come in balance, and all systems, they get harmonized, and they give a sense of well-being. Our state of mind changes. State of mind is peaceful, happy and blissful. And that is transformed to our physical body and systems, they come into balance. So this, these are all proved studies, even in our global hospital too. You know, if, uh, I, I don't know whether any doctor is 
other global hospital doctors are going to take your class. Um, uh, they will tell you if they take your class that a project is being taken about the heart patients uh, that is called coronary artery disease regression program. Are any of you know about this project? Do you know about this project? Is only one. So on a heart patient, uh, the study has been done. You know, they were kept here, their lifestyle was changed in lifestyle, uh, eating habits and you know, exercising every day. And third thing was taken, stress management through Raj Yoga meditation. And it was found that within six months and one year, they could open their coronary blockages without bypass surgery. And thousands of patients got benefit out of that. So it definitely heals us, but we must use the right method uh, through power of concentration. It should not be ordinary level yoga. And for that, uh, uh, it, it is researched that the seven qualities of soul, they are connected to our different systems. You know, like knowledge, the first virtue of soul is connected to brain. Peace, it's connected to our respiratory system. Happiness, it's connected to our digestive system. Bliss, it's connected to hormones. Purity is connected to our immune system. Power, it's connected to our bones and muscles. And confluence of all, it's connected to our excretory system. So everyone through genetics have one or other system's weakness. Means we all have seven systems in our body and hereditary gives weakness in one system. Either you have weak digestive system or you will have weak heart or you will have you know, weak respiratory system. One system is always weak and that get diseased easily. You know, whenever there is change in environment or you, know, you get catch infection easily or your immune level is low. So if using that virtue which is related to that organ, we practice meditation uh, and you know, like, uh, trans, uh, this, uh, we radiate that power through bhava on that organ, the healing improves, it fastens the healing. If something, some problem uh, in mind power, brain, uh, then you know, use Baba as ocean of knowledge. You now think about Baba as ocean of knowledge and you know, give uh, this vibrations of knowledge to your brain. And if some respiratory problem, then uh, see Baba as ocean of peace and uh, uh, have the flow of vibration of peace on your soul and then give uh, these vibrations to your lungs. If something related to digestive system, then see Baba as ocean of happiness, you know, ocean of bliss and give those vibrations to your that system. And if something in muscles or joints problem, then uh, Baba is almighty and see, see that powers are flowing on you and they are transmitted to your, this bone and muscle system. So have half an hour powerful yoga and then for five minutes, radiate Baba's that power to the system which is weak, uh, which is, uh, which get diseased easily. So this is how we can heal ourselves and to heal others, just visualize the soul in front of Baba 
and see that Baba is, Baba's power is coming to you and you are radiating that power to that soul. And I, in my life, experienced uh, this healing. I was in hospital, global hospital, a few years ago and I used to get emergency duties, you know, sometimes day duty, night duty. So once I was on night duty and we had a heart patient in the indoor. He was local and he was not in Baba's knowledge. He was not Baba's child. So when he came, he actually, he, he was very serious and he had massive heart attack on ECG. So we all were looking after him and his relatives, they were given 72 hours time that if he could pass the 72 hours, then there are hopes uh, to remain alive. Otherwise, you know, like we cannot say anything. It was like that, answer was like that. So the, it was the first night and I was on the duty and uh, because mm, I have to uh, look for his vitals every 15 minutes and half an hour. So I thought, why should not I experiment yoga for him? You know, Baba many times say, so I will meditate for this soul and then I'll see, you know, what result we can um, experience. So I, I did both, huh? like I was looking for his condition, physical condition and treating him and, and in between when I got time, I meditated for him. But at one o'clock, he became more serious and we had to artificially ventilate him. He was not able to take his own breath. He became unconscious for some time, but after, within one hour he recovered from that condition and in morning he was conscious. So that was my time to go back and I went to him and you know, I just noted down everything to you know, pass it on to other doctor. So when I was talking to him, uh, he, he told me one thing because he knew that I was on night duty and looking after him. So he, he told me, Sister, when I was unconscious, I saw your Baba. Your Baba came to me. He, he said, your Baba, because he was not in knowledge. No, he was a local Mount Abu uh, resident. So he said, me, your Baba came to me and Baba told me, child, you will become all right. So I know I'm not going to die. I will, I will become all right because Baba came and told me. So I was so happy because uh, that was my purpose. But I uh, know like I did meditation for him whole night. So I was happy and uh, I passed every, you know, all details to the next doctor and I went. And 72 hours passed, even few days passed. He became all right. Uh, and um, he went to Ahmedabad. Ahmedabad is the next city, you know, uh, where there are big hospitals and bypass surgery can be done. So he went to Ahmedabad to have bypass surgery. And even years later, I saw him, you know, walking on the road. So uh, the feelings I had for him, uh, although there were no chances, uh, he had such a big, massive heart attack, but still, no, like I feel that you know, my uh, true good wishes for him, uh, Baba really helped him to come out from that disease. So we can help other souls. Many times, maybe because of karmic accounts, because everyone has their own karmic accounts. It doesn't work in that way, it worked for that soul. You know, it will not always work in the same way. But still, it's help for that soul. Now we do many times uh, meditation for our seniors. In history too, we hear that Brahma Baba, he, he meditated, no? he did uh, this service through mind for, for many Baba's children like Vishwakishore Bhau. He was one of the senior souls, senior brother of the Yagya. And he was in the hospital, he had been operated and uh, he was really very sick. He was not able to sleep for a few nights. So Baba specially sat for him a whole night doing meditation for him and he had very good sleep that night and when Baba did meditation for him. So Baba always, uh, Baba also helped many children. Mama, about Mama we hear 
uh, in history that she used to get up at 2.30 midnight. Uh, Baba's routine was also the same. He used to get up 2.30 in the night and many of our seniors too, uh, even at present, they get up 2.30 and 3 o'clock and um, do meditation for the souls of the world. But if we really want to help other souls, uh, we can, we can, like we, we help, we can help others. Uh, but it should be through the right method. When it is right method, it really reaches to them. And uh, for ourselves, you no, know, uh, the special time for service through mind is Amritvela. We all Baba's children know because that is the time of silence. And nature is also at its purest stage at that time. So we get help through nature. Our stage of mind is also peaceful because you know, we sleep whole night and when we get up early in the morning, you know, all the noises of our whole day thoughts, it's not there. So uh, that is the most powerful time to do service for other souls, even for self-service. So first, uh, have blessings from Baba for yourself. Um, um, actually, uh, Baba has given us so many self-respect points. Uh, Baba says us that we must remember them, and especially at Amrit Vela, and we must fix one of them for the whole day for us. And those self-respect points are really very powerful points. And they increase our uh, power of thoughts. And after that, uh, whosoever we want to serve, just visualize that soul in front of you in subtle reasons um, and transmit power that you are taking from Baba and giving there to that soul. And other step is that see yourself on the globe, that you are on the globe and you are spreading the rays of peace, virtues and powers to all souls of the world. So you are right hand of Baba and Baba through you, you know, making you as an instrument, he's giving all these powers and vibrations of peace spreading this vibration of peace to the souls of the world. So never forget this doing. You know, every day we must do this. You know, sometimes we are so busy in our own, own thoughts, you know, like we forget to give our vibrations to the souls of the world. And our special uh, duty uh, comes when some accidents occur, like uh, this earthquake happened few days ago in, in Haiti, or, you know, like um, if floods come at some places and if thousands and millions of souls die all together, that time we must especially sit in yoga and give our vibrations of peace to those souls. They really need those vibrations at that time. And because we are instruments of power, we are instruments of God, so our duty is, you know, many times, this time also, you know, when Baba came, he reminded us that it's our duty that we must spread uh, vibrations for those souls so that they can uh, experience liberation from their sorrows. And if there is some obstacle in Yagya service, wherever we are, uh, if there are problems, then again it's our duty. So we specially take out time for yoga and to solve that problem, you know, we must sit and spread vibrations. So then it is seen that that obstacle is removed easily. So many times, uh, some, this is our paper too, which we have to pass. So we need a special yoga for that. So there are uh, many times where we need to use our, uh, this speciality which Baba has given us that we, uh, we can use 
our mind as an instrument for service. So I think this is the demand of the present time. Uh, we have to pay attention to it and increase it more and more uh, along with other services which are doing because this is the subtle service, although it is not seen, Baba says, um, um, when you are sick, uh, you are not able to do other services, still we can do service through our, our mind. So this service can be done at any time, at any place, whether we get chance or there is no chance. You know, sometimes some Baba's children complain that we don't get chance for service. So Baba says, uh, this chance is always with you because you have control over your mind. So if I am master of my mind, I can always, I can always do the service through mind. So we need to improve our, this power. Om Shanti.